Jeff's spiel on foot valves. How a foot valve works. Okay, little pop it in there. You can hear the thing. It pulls this way when you're pulling water into it. That's what drafting is, pulling water. I like foot valves like this with these big holes in it, right? That things can actually go through. And then it's got this tiny little mesh screen add-on in there. And I think that they did that because in certain parts of the world, like the neighboring forest, um, they make them have the micro screens so they don't suck up fish, you know, special fish. Um, and then my only recommendation would be if you don't have to use it, take the damn thing out and get better water flow. Um, that restricts flow, it gets clogged up. I can already see like gunk on it that's built up in there. And I don't really like them, but whatever. They still work and they still flow water. Um, and sometimes you have to have them, but. All right, so we took the foot valve off and purpose behind it is we're gonna demonstrate a uh, quick prime and we're gonna do it without the foot valve. This is why I like to have a strainer instead of a foot valve. So I commonly take a foot valve like this and I disassemble the poppet out of the center of that thing so that, this isn't doing our way, no, that's good. Um, so that I can actually flow water back and forth. It reduces the restriction of flow. I can flow way freaking higher volumes. Is it way higher? I don't know, I've never tested it. I mean, I need to, it's another thing on my list to test. Like how much better flow do I really get? How much better performance do I really get out of a better strainer than not? But I do know that we all should know that the easier you make it to draft, the easier it is to, or the more power your pump has to deliver water on the discharge end. So make it easy to draft. One way to do that is a nice, big, well-flowing strainer, not foot valve. I mean, foot valve or strainer. Um, so the quick prime concept in this is we got a full tank of water, right? And all we want to do is demonstrate that you can fire up this pump, have pressure in the system, slowly open your number eight, and what it's gonna do is it's going to flow water backwards into the tank. It'll push all of the air out of your draft hose, and it'll, it'll actually start pouring water into the tank. And then if you close your number one, your truck, your fire engine will then be pumping out of this tank. Just a super quick way to, to do a prime. Everybody seen it before? Yes, yes, no, maybe. Okay, definitely some no's. And I think there's a lot of no's out there. I run into this when I'm doing stuff with engines, but at least these guys have done it before. They're good, give me a demo. You show me how to do it, please? Okay. And while he's hooking up his hose, um, which is dry, by the way, there's no water in it because he doesn't have a foot valve. Um, took the foot valve out because it allows the water to flow backwards. I would not actually recommending that people try to draft without a foot valve. You can go in after the fact and try to attach your foot valve since it's in a tank like this. Tank. Um, however, that's not really my recommendation either. If you're using a, this simulates a strainer rather than simulating a, uh, um, a foot valve. You can do it with a foot valve too, it just takes a little more finesse. We'll do that next. So close that one, open your number one, fire it up and get it running, and just cycle it back into your tank. So we're pumping from the tank. Alright, time out. Okay. Hold on. So you got pressure on the gauge, right? Yeah. But, but send water. Discharge water somewhere. Into the tank. Negative. Discharge water into the tank. Okay. It's just like, it's just like uh, pumping a hose there, right? You should have to shoot a hose when it goes back into the tank. Uh, if you notice, that gauge, when it opened the number two, it went down to like zero and then it came back up, it burst the air bubble out of the system. Now we're flowing water. So go ahead and give me like a 100 PSI. We got some RPM on the system. Okay, great. Now what we want to do is transition from the water tank in the truck to this tank. Do that, open that up slowly. Watch the gauge. You can still do this 
ball discharging. Okay, watch, you got air bubbles coming out. You're actually dumping water out of your uh, truck into the tank. I'm seeing water coming up from air bubbles. And I still have this little bit of air bubble right here, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and just hit it. Close that guy slowly. And it's gonna start to transition. See the air bubbles rush up? Go ahead and close it all the way. Okay, never really changed pressure very much. Plus or minus just a few PSI. And he's now pulling water out of the tank, or out of this source tank here, and putting it into that truck. You don't actually have to close your discharge to do it. You can actually continue to pump your hose away at full PSI and transition from one source to the next. Go ahead and shut her down. I have seen this before. Okay, yeah. so you can do the same thing with a foot valve on, but the thing is the air bubbles don't get to get pushed out the bottom. So it takes a little bit more finesse and you have to slowly open your number eight a little bit more. If you're set up like this and all that air pressure can, water pressure, and all the air bubble, no pressure involved, all the air bubble can just get rushed out the bottom. Like on a type three with a really big suction hose, you throw that thing open and the whole mass of water shoves all the air out of the hose. Happens like that. And then all you have to do is hit the switch to close your number one and boom, you're pumping out of your source. Super fast, nice and smooth. If you have a foot valve on there, you have to very slowly open your number eight. I prefer to slowly open my number eight all the way and then slowly close my number one. If you do that, it tends to feed all the bubbles out of the system. You'll get a little bit of jerkiness in your pressure, but it feeds all the bubbles out of the system and then once you close your number one, you're just pulling off the source. Some people will try and feather them both. Um, and when you feather them both, sometimes you have to do that, but if you can get all the air out of the draft hose first, then it's just smoother to close your number one, you're good to go. Um, if you do the feather trick, you can do it a little bit faster with a bunch of practice. But when, you're... But when are you in a hurry? Yeah. When you're under test. So when we do this test at Engine Academy, um, technically you don't even have to do a hot swap like this uh, while pumping the hose lay. But if you can do a hot swap, you can do it a lot faster. And the fastest way to hot swap is to feather them both at the same time. But I'm not sure you're saving more than 15 seconds. So. Is that feathering the eight and two? The eight and the one. Eight and one. Yeah. Okay. 